Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Um, in this video, as I promised, we're gonna talk about internet funnels and how to use them and what are internet funnels and if you wonder and if you ever wonder what they are, probably already done some research uh, for those of you who are completely new. So an internet funnel is essentially the journey that your customer has before they make the purchase essentially is the indoctrination phase that your customer has to go through before they buy your product. Uh, this really depends on the price of your product or service. So if you sell low tier price, low tier products, let's say uh, something that goes from, I don't know, $5 all the way to $60, then I would say your funnel doesn't have to be as long but it depends if you if you only have one product and you want to push that product and you know that that is going to sell a lot then you need to invest a little bit more in your funnel so for instance a funnel could be just simply an autoresponder like a newsletter system that will send emails to your customers one of the best way to do it is to uh, create a sales page where your product is drive traffic into that page and then you need to make sure that you can follow up with that customer even if they don't buy it and one of the best way is to um, give them something for free so that could be like a neat little ebook or checklist it can be just literally one page PDF with some tips uh, related to that product that you're trying to sell or something that can be valuable for them to use before they buy your products uh, or something that prepares them to um, to you know to get to get used to know your brand um, and they can actually you know benefit from it so try to make sure you have a sales page with perhaps a lead magnet a lead magnet again is a PDF a deliverable something you give for free and then they can actually download it by just giving you their email address and then after you have their email address you can follow up by sending them some emails and one of the best way to do that is not doing manually but of course you can do it manually but if you have many people going through your sales page or lead magnet you would have to do it all manually so the best way would be having an autoresponder such as a Weber, GetResponse, uh, MailerLite, MailChimp these sort of things that you sort of uh, companies that will give you um, a free account for the first uh, thousand or two thousand subscribers or so or so so I just used I used at the very beginning get response which is kind of a paid um, autoresponder but it's brilliant in terms of uh, you know creating automations um, emails but you can get something like MailChimp I also use MailChimp um, and MailChimp is free up to 2,000 subscribers. Once you have your lead magnet into your sales page or before the sales page, then you can follow up with your, with your customers and eventually offer the sales, you kind of pitch the sale at the, at the end. So for instance, you can have five emails uh, talking about a certain topic. So you can actually have literally a conversation with, with them. So try to think about who is your customer Who's your really use your niche first of all? What's your niche? Uh, who's your customer? And then talk to them from the first email all the way to the, you know, the, to, the to the final email where you're gonna tell them you ask them to, to buy. So, I don't know. Let's say you're selling um, a skin cream, uh, like like a physical product. So in order for you and a skin cup is skin, the skin cream can cost I don't know 40, 50 pounds, 50 dollars. It really depends of the quality. So perhaps you wanna sell like a tool, like a beauty toolkit for women. So you could do that, you can actually create a sales funnel that perhaps indoctrinate them to and kind of educate them as well to understand and be aware of your brand, be aware of your face perhaps, uh, if you are the first, if you are the person behind the product and, and talk to them. So for instance, the first email could be, well, this is, these are one of the five, um, I don't know, uh, problems, skin problem that people have. So you can talk about acne, you can talk about uh, black spots, you can talk about whatever, all the still deal things. So the first email could be this. So to cure this or to kind of prevent these sort of things, uh, those, you know, goes through these three steps, trying to use something alternative, something natural. So you kind of give them some tips 
before then uh, you give them the final solution. So the second email can be the second day, for instance, or after, or you know, every other day. It's really up to you. And then you see they started to receive your emails. Now, even if they don't, they don't read the first one or the second one, they still see your name on their inbox and they're kind of aware that you're there for them. So you can actually, they can click on that anytime. They can, you know, read your information and eventually they can, um, they will go into your sales page knowing you already before they kind of pull out that wallet and, and, and pay for the product. So this is a good way for, uh, for you to sell uh, products, digital products, physical products, doesn't matter which product you sell. But again, it really depends how long you want to make this funnel, how long you want to that to be. Um, so for for products that are above fifty dollars or above hundred dollars, then it's kind of the price starts to get more considerable. Uh, because when you started to get more expensive, of course you need to make sure you have um, you have perhaps more follow up with them. You have longer a longer funnel. Um, but it doesn't have to be necessarily longer as long as it depends on the value you are exchanging to, with them so it could be just a matter of like sending three uh, emails and for instance for each email you have a little video that you record and you talk about your product or you talk about uh, you know remedies skin remedies if you talk about beauty you can you can talk about this and then eventually you will uh, send them the last email where you you know you will uh, pitch your product so this is just a quick overview of what an internet funnel is but if you want to know more about the tools that i use and the tools that you should use on your business to sell your products and also how to customize these tools and what tools are the best please leave a comment down below and i will uh, record a new video or a series of videos about autoresponders about all the tools that i use create my funnels so thank you so much for listening i hope it's been useful and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you won't miss any future updates and until then i hope you have a meaningful day bye